Wow, wow, wow. Max Scherzer has been reportedly traded to the Texas Rangers. This is unbelievably massive for just not only the Mets, not only the Rangers, but for all of baseball. Before we get started, you know the drill. Hit that like and subscribe. This is the place you want to be. And again, emphasis on this. This trade is not official, so make sure you're subscribed so you come back when this trade is official and we know everything. There will be a follow-up video likely tomorrow on this trade. Alrighty, this trade is not official. Like I said, it's been reportedly agreed upon both sides, but there are still hurdles to be, you know, hurdles to be jumped. Mark Feinstein, right now, despite rumors of the contrary, Max Scherzer has not yet waived his no-trade clause. As of right now, it's not happening. Things can change, of course, so the saga is far from over. What's also not official is the amount of money that's going to be jumped over. Any amount more than $2 million, the league would have to approve. So, again, that's a big hurdle. Uh, Michael Marino, he's a uh, MLB reporter on Twitter, he says that the Mets would likely give up $15 to $30 million in this trade. That is a substantial amount. Max Scherzer, one of the biggest names. We didn't even expect him to get moved. It was all reports on Verlander today, and all of a sudden, here's Max Scherzer coming out of nowhere. Now, that report by uh, Feinstein just kind of scares me that Scherzer's not going to waive his no-trade clause. He reportedly loves it in New York, loves the team, loves the idea of them competing. So, like I said, he needs to waive that first off. They need to get a set amount of money agreed upon going over in this trade because Scherzer's making $43 million next season, still owed about $14 million this year, and next season is a club uh, is a player option, excuse me. So that money is going to be hard to go over. We need a league approval still for over $2 million. So that's another. And then him not waiving the trade clause is probably the biggest of it all. That's probably the biggest holdup. So Max Scherzer, here we go. This season in 2023, he's hitting, he's not hitting, he's a pitcher. What am I saying? Scherzer has a 401 ERA and 19 starts, 107 and two thirds innings pitch, 121 strikeouts, and a 1.189 whip. We all know Scherzer's career number 315 ERA and 2,789 and two third innings pitch, 3,314 strikeouts, and a 1.079 whip. Scherzer, 229 ERA last year. In 2021, with Washington and the Dodgers, 246 ERA. 2020, 374. 2019, all the 2013, all the way to 2019, all star in every year. He won the Cy Young Award in 16 and 17. We know Scherzer who the type of pitcher he is. He's been unbelievable in this career. Obviously, the Rangers are a huge get to go get Scherzer. However, Scherzer, down the stretch, the last couple years, hasn't really made it out of August. We talked about with Los Angeles in 2021 when he got traded there, he couldn't really pitch against the Braves in NLCS. His arm was just fatigued. Last year, coming up big against the Braves again, he threw it in the wild card against the Padres. He didn't come up big. This, you know, he's been struggling with injuries. Scherzer's kind of been on a shell of himself. He's been on the down climb. So this is kind of worrisome for the Rangers, but the Rangers, they are getting pretty desperate obviously even if max is a shell of himself still he's still a fantastic pitcher he's been much better as of late you know against la seven innings no runs uh just uh yesterday against washington seven innings one run so he still has glimpses of just excellence now the reported return going to the mets is absolutely monumental luis angel acuna the brother of Ronald Acuna Jr., mind you, has been the name, the big name that has been confirmed to be going over in this trade. He's 20 years old in double A. He is 5'8", 181. His scouting grades are 55 hit, 50 power, 55 run, 55 arm, 55 field, overall of 45. Again, bloodline of Ronald Acuna Sr., and Ronald Acuna Jr., and then him. This season in double A, he's hitting 315 with seven home runs, an 830 OPS, and get a load of this, 42 stolen bases in 84 games. He's stealing a base every other game, 377 on base percentage. He strikes out about twice as much as he walks, so 76 strikeouts, 37 walks. It's still a very, very respectable ratio. He plays second base and shortstop. This is absolutely monumental. This is a, you know, a generational 
prospect. I mean, he's bloodline of Acuna. We know how good a Ronald Acuna is. Arguably an NL MVP front runner. And for the Mets to be getting this for a shell of a 40-year-old pitcher that's kind of a shell of himself is absolutely insane. The other names, I'm going to quickly mention them that have been uh, thrown around. So if this trade does go through, you could see an uh, addition of a Brock Porter, right-handed pitcher. He's the number four ranked prospect in the, or in the Rangers organization. Sebastian Walcott, even though reported it, was disciplinary that he got pulled out of the game his name's been jumping around and also thomas sagisi i don't even know how to say his last name double a 15th ranked prospect in the rangers organization he's hitting like 315 with 15 bombs this year those are some other names i it could very well be one for one straight up but those are the other names that have been flying around twitter currently acuna is a top 50 ranked prospect in baseball i believe he's number 44 if i remember correctly He's top 50. It absolutely game-changing for the Mets farm system. Now, for the Mets, this means a lot, a lot of things. For the Mets, this means a lot of things. First up, you're punting on this season. We already knew that. It seemed like you're, you, you've won the last couple games. You, you have one of the best records. In, you have the best record in the National League in July. Trading Scherzer obviously means you're punting on this year. I think that it's very big considering that if they can secure a top 10 pick, their pick will not fall 10 spots because of their high payroll. I think trading Scherzer has a lot to do with potentially that. And this will also open up quite a bit of money that the Mets can go spend this winter. Depending on how much they send over, we do have, there's some of the best starting pitching I've ever seen in a free agent class is available this winter. Julio Urias, Blake Snell, Aaron Nola, uh, Marcus Stroman has an opt-out. Eduardo Rodriguez has an opt-out. Lucas Giolito has been traded. I mean, there are so Lance Lynn's a free agent. Oh, by the way, hey, there's a two-way player, Shohei Otani, hitting the market this winter. The Mets clearly have the money, so if they're able to dump Scherzer, this could be absolutely big into them playing. Oh, by the way, there's this pitcher from Japan, 24-year-old Yamamoto. He throws like 101 as well. He could, He's going to be probably posted this winter. So there's another guy that the Mets are probably going to be going after. So this is also big for next season as well. Don't think that they're punting on this year. They're just trying to offload money to get younger. I think that is the big key. They want to get younger. They realize this strategy of getting old guys that are proven and still have something is not working out quite as they once imagined. Verlander too. He's been rumored to be on the move. If the Mets can get off Ver offload Verlander, half of his contract. Again, there's another boatload of money freeing up so the Mets can go get some more guys this offseason and while they're doing that they're recouping a ton for their farm system like an absolute haul Acuna top 50 prospect in all the baseball probably going to be the number two maybe even number one ranked prospect in the Mets organization and when we talk about uh, Marco Vargas he's number six currently in the Mets organization that's absolutely huge and that was for David Robertson they still have Tommy Pham they still have Mark Canna they still have Omar Narvaez Brooks Raley, Adam Ottavino, all these guys that they can potentially sell off in trades that will net them return. So the Mets, in, in review, they're getting younger. They're offloading money. They're not punting on 2024. Big thing, I still think they're going to be looked to add this offseason and be super competitive in 2024. For the Rangers, what does this mean for you? If you guys do ultimately get Scherzer, this is going to be a huge get for you guys. You guys are getting someone that has been proven he won a, he's been a World Series champion. He's been a Cy Young Award winner. Sure, he's struggled down the stretch. Sure, he's had injuries of lately. But you guys almost need to do anything you can. Evaldi's missing another start with some elbow fatigue. You guys lost to Grom to Tommy John surgery. You guys need that reliable veteran ace in that rotation desperately. It's it, it it's not even a question. It's, it's a need. You guys are going to go out there and get somebody that's going to be absolutely big at this deadline and looks like Scherzer's the guy. I really like this trade for you guys if you're a Rangers. Overall, the winner of this trade, though, has to be the New York Mets. I know I'm a Mets fan. Sure, I'm a little bit biased, but you're getting the number three prospect for a 40-year-old that's getting paid a lot of money. Sure, you're eating money, but was he going to move the needle this year? Probably not. Was he going to move the needle next year? Sure, but if you can offload that, and get, you're basically buying a prospect at this point. 
I, there's going to be plenty of guys to get next year. I really like this, especially if Acuna turns out anything, you know, like his brother. Close to his brother, huge win. The Mets, you're getting an A. I mean, if they're able to get more plus, Acuna plus some, it, A plus. The Rangers, this is kind of a move that you had to make. Like, there's no argue, arguing that you did not have to make this move. You had to get a stud at pitcher. So, yeah, I, I want to know what you guys think about this trade. Again, this trade is reportedly agreed upon. Scherzer still needs to weigh the no trade clause. The league still needs to give money approval. Money still needs to be approved. Expect a follow-up video coming up out tomorrow. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Hit that like button, subscribe. Come back later for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. It's delicious.